Hi everybody, it's Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. I want to talk to you about this kiddie pool system. Okay, I have raised plants in this the last two years and had phenomenal success. And I want to give you a little background on this before I tell you about this hybrid system that I've come up with, which I think you're going to totally, totally love. Uh, it's going to be phenomenal. But I'd love to build one for you, but uh, this is what it looks like outside right now. So uh, you're going to have to have a little imagination with me. I want to walk you through this, and we'll get through, and you'll understand exactly what I'm coming up with. But let me tell you a little bit about how I came about this. About two years ago, okay, I had 13 rain gutter systems. Had them all going. Just They were just doing great. But I had a bunch of extra tomato plants over, left over, okay? So I had put them in these Walmart grow bags because I'd seen how these Walmart bags and, and grow bags were supposed to be doing good as far as air pruning. And what I mean by air pruning is the roots hit the side, they prune and they create massive roots. So I had a bunch of these, you know, tomato plants I'm thinking, and I started watering them and I thought, what the heck am I doing watering all these? This is the whole reason I got away from uh, the two bucket system and everything was the, the maintenance. There's got to be a way I can water these, okay? So what I did is I thought, well, what if I put them in a container? And I started with just a little couple tubs. And if I only put a little bit of water in the bottom, wouldn't the bottom of the container, the uh, grow bag, work just like a net cup and absorb the water up? Which I did, okay? And I had done that, and here I put them. And then I thought, well, I'm going to I'll get a few more. So I've I seen these kiddie pools on sale. So I went and got these kiddie pools. What I did is up about two inches, I put an overflow hole I drilled in the side. That way, if it rained, any excess water would just run out, and I just manually filled them, and they just went great. I mean, look at the tomatoes. They just went absolutely phenomenal. I had great results either in the small tubs or the kiddie pool system. Then this year, I had Mexican midgets in there. And these plants, Mexican midget tomato plants, they just went wild, just totally wild. Unbelievable. Then, so I put some container corn in there. Well, this is container corn that Burpee says will grow four to five feet tall. I put it in there in these Walmart bags, and I put it in potting mix, and I would only maintain a couple inches of water in there, and they went nuts. Well, they went over eight feet tall. Burpee said they're supposed to go to four to five feet. So I want to see, does, does this root pruning has got to really be working? So there's the bag from one of the corn. I put four corn stalks, you know, four corn plants in each bag, and here's the roots. You can see they're not wrapped around. They are not root bound. So I got a little hose out, and I thought, well, we're going to see what this looks like. And we started taking the soil off, and look, massive, massive roots. Well, this all year also I built my underground rain gutter grow system which I used Walmart bags because I had knew from the previous year how well this this air pruning worked on I thought well what if I can do it this way and if I put it there and then what I did is I mounted you can see the pipe underneath I put the sewer pipe under the ground level with the top of the ground and I put net cups through and I'll put a link to the video of how I built this so you know exactly how I did it and I put a net cup through the uh, grow bags so they absorbed the water up from there this way uh, there was no algae growth no way for mosquitoes everything is enclosed and uh, I planted it and it took off phenomenal I and mean, then I started getting enormous growth. I could see that this root pruning was really, air pruning of the roots, I mean, was really making a difference. Kurabi, I mean, I had kurabi, it was bigger than softballs. I had, uh, uh, these are uh, banana peppers, went crazy. Anaheim peppers got just huge. I had heirloom tomatoes I raised this year that went nuts. German Johnson's, black crim, they just went absolutely crazy. So I knew that this, uh, the whole idea of this kiddie pool system was great. Now a lot of people said, well, I don't want the open water because of uh, I'm worried about mosquitoes. Even though I told people you can take mosquito dunks, which you can buy at Walmart, put in, and it's a natural enzyme, a natural bacteria that kills the larvae. Still people hesitated or they, they didn't like the sight of the algae there, you can see. 
So I, I've been thinking, I've been brainstorming on this. I thought, how can I come up with this? Because it works so incredibly good and make this such a simple grow method. Well, here we go. Here is the hybrid kiddie pool system. What we do is we mount a float assembly inside the pool. We take a kiddie pool, okay? Uh, you could do this. It wouldn't necessarily have to be a kiddie pool. You could build a one by six frame out of wood, line it with plastic, and accomplish the same thing. But what we want to do is we're going to make a little float assembly, okay? We're going to take like a Tupperware container or something that we can fit a float into. Here is a standard uh, uh, float that's half inch, okay? And then you can get an adapter that goes on the end for your garden hose. If you're just going to build one of these units, you can probably get by that. We're going to put this in this container. We're going to set the float up so it's about an inch and a half for height. We're going to drill some little holes, quarter inch holes, in the whole container so water can seep out. And what we're going to do is now, if you want to do multiple ones, I would recommend you go with a quarter inch barb. And I'll have a link for all this underneath the video here. Just hit the show more button. And then you can just use a T and you can gang them together so you can have multiple ones. But we're going to take this little float assembly and we're going to set it down in the kiddie pool, okay? And we're going to put our bags in there. Now we can put them close together, but we want to leave just an air gap in between each one. Now up about two inches, we're going to drill an overflow hole in the side of this kiddie pool, okay? So if it rains, excess water can run out. Here's the trick now. We're going to fill it with pea rock and you won't need a lot because there's going to be a lot of bags in there. It's going to cover the container, but you can still take some pea rock out of the way and take that lid off if you have to access that float valve, okay? Now we're going to go three inches tall up from the bottom with the pea rock. That's going to give us an inch of dry medium above the water level, even if it would rain. So now you can grow. This is the beauty. Now you can grow vining crops, watermelon, cantaloupe, squash, anything. You don't have to raise just vertical things. There is no water standing. There is no algae. It's going to be phenomenal. And if the pea rock isn't pretty enough for you, lay a little landscape fabric on that pea rock and mulch it with some beautiful red mulch or natural mulch. Now, as far as the bags go, the Walmart bags, let's say I don't want to use them or I want to cover them. My wife had done this to some rain gutter growth system, the five gallon, she put burlap around and really dressed these up. You could put them around the Walmart bags or I found another source, a little over a dollar piece, not bad, for these root pouch bags. They're really nice bags. Uh, you get them in bundles of like 10 and really reasonable and they come in even some different colors. If you want to use something like that to dress it up, but dress it up. But you could really make this little uh, kiddie pool garden beautiful. I mean, if you want to even build it out of wood, one by six is framing in, so if you could stain the outside, it would be the most incredible raised container type garden you've ever seen. So I hope you can see from the picture, the whole concept here, you can see a top view on the left, where the float assembly is, and then that would be the bags. But now you, you got the P rock, it's going to go up three inches. Your overflow is at two. The little float assembly is in there. And I mean, now you can dress up that top. You can put some little ornamental frogs on there. You could do, I mean, you can make this really cute. But I want, I hope you got, you got the concept of what I'm trying to come across with is absolutely phenomenal. A look this now you don't have to worry about mosquitoes mosquitoes are no longer a factor of even a chance okay because your pea rocks up three inches your overflow is at two inches and you're going to maintain the water level about an inch and a half so i hope you get the whole concept if you have any questions feel free to, to uh, put a comment or go to the uh, if you click on my uh name on the YouTube channel and go to the about. You can private message me and ask me any questions on it. Or if you have a question, just post it in the comments and I'll get it right back to you. But I, but like I said, I'm sitting here, it's the middle of winter. 
Uh, we got snow. I would love to build one of these guys, but I know spring's coming up for some of you in the south, and I want you to be able to build one of these. You can do it inexpensively, and I think you can make it look beautiful, and like I said, no problem with algae and mosquitoes or anything, and you can raise anything in them now. I have raised everything and got phenomenal results. Now you can raise vining vegetables, vertical vegetables, it don't matter. Okay? This is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Ciao.